morning, everybody. My name's Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. I was thinking, look at my hair. <laughs> it's standing up. Even the bird is laughing at me. Anyway, it's standing on end. But anyway, um, I had a good day today, but I chose to have a good day. I got up, and it, it wasn't starting as good as I wanted it to, and I have hurt my back, um, not my back, my hip somehow, and I it's the one that I had the repair done on and I'm not sure if I've damaged it or whether it's just aches and pains I think it's aches and pains so I won't worry about it but I have to just sort of work through it and tomorrow we do exercises with my home care so hopefully that stretches it out as versus making it worse anyway today I got up and I was thinking about it because I woke up a little bit early and I was thinking when I saw all the snow and Everybody was kind of grumbling about the weather and the snow and all the rest of it. And I knew that Bill had to go to the lab today and Claudine had to drive him. And I was worried about that because the, the news said that the roads were horrendous. And then my home care worker came in and she said, you know, yes, the roads for a little car were really bad. But if you had a bigger, heavier car, they were driving okay. But we have a little car. And uh, so I thought to myself, I'm going to either sit here and worry the entire time they're gone or I'm going to make myself useful and it, it was a choice it was an actual choice and uh, so home care came and got me all dressed and bathed and all the rest and then we came down and and whatnot and they wanted to leave fairly early so that they could try to uh, avoid any traffic that would be out there but they find that the if they go to the walk-in um, lab between about around 11 o'clock it's usually not too busy. People have come early in the morning and waited, and they come later in the afternoon and wait. But right around lunch hour, they don't seem to be there. So, pardon me. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat a bite of. This is what I call um, women's therapy. It's a bowl of absolutely outrageously priced ice cream. I was one day feeling a little bit down and saw. That I love chocolate and raspberry. You know. This is chocolate with raspberry, but it's white chocolate as well. And it was a haagen and you got this little tiny container of haagen and it was like 5 or $6. Or you could get like a giant 4-liter tub of Chapman's, which is really good ice cream, for $8. And I said, you know what, I'm going to buy the family $8 ice cream, and I am going to buy the $6 ice cream and enjoy it. And it's been in the freezer, and I completely forgot I had it until today. And I saw it, and I went, I've chosen to be good today. I've chosen to be healthy. I've chosen to uh, be happy. And I think that all of that starts with a little bite of hugging dust. Well, we are now at 1043 at night, and I'm finally getting my bite of hugging dust. <laughs> so I'll show you here. I've got it in a little plastic bowl. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's just delicious. But anyway, I'm going to take a little bite of this while we're talking because I don't want it to completely melt and I have to drink it. I've done that plenty. Actually, that was a good segue into the story one. So I'll come back to about choosing happiness. But I'm going to tell you about a story that I just popped into my head when I said that. We went to what's called a guess who's coming to dinner dinner. And so what happens is there are three couples for everybody that wanted to participate. One couple, no, four, pardon me, four couples. One person volunteered to host it. And if they hosted it, then they spent their own money, $40 is the amount, on the food. And they could do whatever they wanted, but they spent their own money on the food. Everybody else who came, the couples, they spent their, now this is many years ago, so $40 was worth a lot more, right? But anyway, because this is probably 35 years ago now. But anyway, um, the couples that were coming for dinner, they all donated $40. And then they took the, the $120 from the three couples. Everybody enjoyed the meal that the other couple provided. And Charity got $120 for every table that was out. So... They they all had a theme. So, the, and the deal was you never told anybody where you were going or who you were going to see. 
So therefore, it was a big secret. Like you went up and you signed up for the one you wanted, but nobody saw that book until the end. So anyway, we, we went to a few of them with all different uh, themes. But this one particular one was a, we're going to have a tempura evening. And that fascinated me, the tempura evening. So we went and she offered us a, a little sip of sake when we came in. And then we went to dinner and she had a big pot in the middle of the table that had all kinds of oil and stuff into it with spices and seasoning. And then she had all these little dishes of things and you dip them into the tempura batter and you put them into the fryer with a big, like a fondue. And uh, you got to eat these really crispy vegetables and they were, they were so good and little shrimps and stuff. Everything was delicious. Then came dessert and she said, we're going a little off theme today. She says for dessert, because I really want to do it. We're having pears flambe. And I said, pears flambe? I've never had that. That's fancy, right? Anyway, she goes over, she gets the pears, and she gets them into the pan. And she pours in a generous amount of brandy. She lights it up. Nothing. So she says, oh, I must have done something wrong. So she glugs in another little bit of brandy and lights it up. Nothing. Okay, she said, third time's a charm. Glug, glug, glug in with the brandy. She held the lighter right to it for quite a while. Nothing. She said, okay, we're having pear slurpees. So she took all the brandy that was in there with all the pears and put it in a big blender, and we all had blended slurpees out of it. She said that she'd put too much brandy in it to throw it away. So that was one of the ones we went to. It was really funny, but anyway. Let me tell you another one that we went to was uh, the theme was Christmas in July and it was really good so we were having good luck with where we were going we didn't we got to know a lot of people then we decided to try one that we had no idea what it was going to be the person who was throwing it was the best man at our wedding and we knew that he could be pretty crazy so we were sort of like I don't know how he's going to do with this cooking for the people so maybe maybe his friends like us should join him he didn't know we were coming though Anyway, what a job he did on that. His theme was, it's a blue dinner. A blue dinner. I don't know. Okay, so we go to the, the house, and he's surprised to see us, and we see the other couples. And then he offers us, as we walk through the door, a Labatt's Blue. It's a beer. So we were offered a, a beer when we came in, a Labatt's Blue. We all sat around, socialized for a little while. And then out was coming the dinner, and he had a salad first with blue cheese dressing. And then he served uh, chicken cordon bleu. What, what else did he serve that was blue? Mm. Oh, blueberry cobbler for dessert. dessert, blueberry cobbler. And then he said, we have an after dinner drink, a blueberry tea. And the blueberry tea, was it Cointreau and- Amaretto. Amaretto and Contro. Quant no. Contro, was that was? Amaretto and, I forget what else. You'd have to look it up, but anyway. It's amaretto, and I think it's Cointreau, but it's something else anyway. And you put it into a cup of tea. And you know, neither one of those flavors are blueberry, but when they're mixed together in that cup of tea, they taste like blueberry. But you should look that one up if you ever do it. But anyway, then he said, I can't even believe he did this, but anyway, he said, for those who want to stay for entertainment, we'll be putting on blue movies. <laughs> Said, that's our ticket to ride and we so we came home but anyway uh he really went all out he had a blue tablecloth he had all things set up nice he did a really nice job other than the blue movies but anyway so that was really good now i should get back because i had a lot of these other things but I should get back to what i was talking about i think just my opinion that everybody has the choice to have a happy day, no matter what the circumstances. Now, I know that if you're in the depth of depression, it's more than just getting up and saying, I'm gonna have a good day, okay? You need to have help, you need to have counseling, you need to have drugs sometimes to uh, do that. But just your own self, you have the right to choose to be happy. I know that my life is gonna be finite I know that um, everybody's life is finite. 
I just happen to know my, mine might be a little sooner than the rest. But that's all right. Because I'm going to choose every single day to be happy, whatever the circumstances. If I want to go shopping and I can't go shopping and I have to stay home, I'm not going to moan and groan about it. I'm going to say, well, maybe I shouldn't have been at the stores today or that will be a good day to save some money. If I am making a dinner and I drop the pot and we end up eating grilled cheese sandwiches that night, it's okay. The dog got an extra meal. <laughs> I just think that I'm not going to choose to be bitter and grumpy anymore. And I say anymore because I have my days like that. Days where I find fault with other people. Days that I get mad at my husband. Days that I'm, I'm just feeling angry about my own situation or frustrated with my own situation. And if you're frustrated with it, you take it out on somebody else and they're the closest people to me. I don't want to do that anymore. And I said, that doesn't mean that I'm always right or always wrong. I'm just going to choose to forgive them when they're wrong and don't want to see my point and not, not drag it out. I'm going to just say, if they don't see my point, okay, like, you know, I'll still have my opinion, but I'll just maybe keep it to myself a little bit better. So anyway, today I chose to be happy and I still have a very sore hip. I'm still very concerned about doing exercises tomorrow. But at least I know that my hair won't be looking like this because, you know, when Hannah comes and does my hair, she gets it all brushed down and looking nice. So uh, I think I think that I'd like everybody to just choose to be happy for one day and see what it brings to you. See what it brings. I, I think that it will bring lots of goodness to your life. And uh, I was also thinking, I'd really like to meet somebody on the internet here who, who lives in Calgary, who is in a similar situation to me, or maybe they're in a totally different situation. Maybe they're a caregiver of somebody, but I could really use somebody in town that I can talk to on the internet. And uh, if we hit it off, maybe we can go for a coffee sometime, but I don't go out very much, but it'll be one of those things that I, I'm fine with it being on the internet. They, the doctors keep telling me, you need to make friends, you need to do things. And I, I'm not a go out in the public person. Not when I'm having problems, but I'm fine with talking over the internet, as you know. So if there's anybody out there in Calgary who would like to uh, have a conversation with me or something, well, please. I have my email address on uh, the web, uh, the homepage under uh, the description, and uh, I would love I would love to talk to you. Anyway, I, I prattle on again as I always do. And uh, I was very busy today and I'm quite tired. So after this ice cream, I think I'll call it a night. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Uh, what are we doing tomorrow? Anything? Nothing. Nothing. That sounds like an empty day. Huh. wonder what I'll do. I'll find some. I, I, should, I don't need to wonder what I can do. I have bags of paperwork here beside me that I went through a file folder and, you know, took all the unnecessary ones out, refiled the others. And I have tons of paperwork that I just want to get caught up on. And if I ever get to the store, I want to put some decals on my garbage cans to make it a little prettier. I know they're garbage cans, but, you know, to me, they need to be pretty. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So, I will find things for me tomorrow. All right. I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to have a good night's sleep, and then I'll be up and at them tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.